The following demo shows these steps in action on a real device. It starts with provisioning the firmware, then device registration, and finally data encryption and device authorization. The first step is to personalize and load the device authority firmware. P3 needs the public key of the Multos chip to encrypt the package containing the generated keys. The standard unpersonalized gateway firmware is loaded. Here you can see the messages passing between the meter and key scaler. The sequence starts with an attempt to register the device without a valid control record in Keyscaler. A registration record is then created and the registration completes successfully. DR is a device registration request. CI is check-in. DA is device authenticate. CPD is crypto policy delivery. And CKD is crypto key delivery. Look out for the light attached to the meter coming on. This is the point at which the meter has been successfully onboarded with Keyscaler. First thing we will see is a key rotation. In the ThingWorks mashup, notice the key ID for readings changes after the CKD message is processed. The ThingWorks mashup shows the data arriving encrypted on the MQTTQ, being decrypted by ThingWorks accessing the matching key from Keyscaler, and then the clear data being displayed. You can also see the meter periodically performing authentication. We will now quarantine the meter from Keyscaler. This will cause authentication to fail when the meter next checks in and the power will be cut. Reauthorizing the device causes the power to be restored.